Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am making another cheap meal. In the course of this last year, I have done so many meals in a jar. And while those videos are the least viewed videos, they should be the highest viewed videos because they are extremely important for people on low income, low budget, as a survival way to feed your family for very little money. I did a video on cheesy hamburger helper. Now the powdered cheese is organic. That was the little more expense, but you don't even have to have the cheese. Basically it's some seasonings and some elbow macaronis and you don't have to use any meat or you can use a half a pound or three fourths pound. I think I have about a third of a pound of meat that I'm using today in these. So simple, so easy. You can make this and it can store on your shelf for three years. So while those videos are so extremely important, I think people fail to realize that it doesn't take a whole lot to make one of these. And it is just amazing to have it on your shelf. If somebody's hungry or you get company really quick, you have your own homemade hamburger helper without any preservatives. I use my homemade butter with the chives in it. And now all we have to do is boil the liquid. So we're going to add our water and our milk. And then we're going to bring this to a boil. All right, we put our sauce in. Now we're going to go ahead and put the needles in. All right, while we're waiting for our meal to get done, I thought I would show you what we were working on last night. Well, not nighttime, but yesterday evening, because once we get snow, the deer love to eat at our bushes. So we actually, this year, are wrapping our bushes. That way the deer can't eat at them. As you know, landscaping things are so expensive, and we did that, I think, two years ago. But I'm headed out here to put this this material out here. I do have to work on my herbs out here, but I'm not gonna do that today. I guess I could start singing some Christmas songs because it almost feels like Christmas. I could sing, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, let's get inside and let's see if our meal is finished and then we can eat it. And then I'm just going to get this video up to all of you, edit it and take the rest of the day off. That is something I don't say very often. I work almost seven days a week, but today I'm taking the day off and I'm going to be enjoying reading some books and coming up with some ideas for all of you. The snow's coming down pretty nice now. Woohoo! Kenny, come on, sir. Yeah. Time to eat. I tell you one thing, you can call me late to a lot of things, but you can't call me late for dinner. Everybody and welcome to today's video. I am super excited to share with you this video. I've actually been looking forward to this for a long time. Today we have time to make it. What are we gonna make? And we're gonna help her shelf stable without all the preservatives. Now, I like to showcase books because as you know, I'm an avid reader and I love learning new things. Most of the times my books are very frugal. I will share with you always in the description box below. People have been asking me, where do I get this? Where do I get that? My books are always down below. <laughs> Everything is down below there. But this book, you can still get relatively frugal but it is a collector's item and it is getting more and more expensive. This is more Make Your Own Groceries. It came in two book series. The Make Your Own Groceries is very cheap. You can buy that really cheap. The second one is harder to find and it is a collector's item. This is my ultimate 
favorite book when it comes to making your own mixes. Okay, so we are going to make our own hamburger helper. Recently I bought a box of hamburger helper and I normally don't eat food like that but I was so tired that day and I thought I'm just gonna mix this up. Well I didn't realize the long list of preservatives. Then I realized you can make it yourself so much cheaper and you don't have those preservatives. This is going to be shelf stable for one year. So I'm going to show you and show you the directions how to make it. I also will share with you the recipe down below or on the side, depending on what device you have. Some people are telling me on an iPad, it's on the side. I don't know because I don't have any of those things. All right, let's get started. One thing really nice is remember I did the product review of these lids that came from China and they didn't work. Remember that? That was like almost a year ago already. Well, guess what? We can use these lids for this. So it works out perfect. All right, let's get working on this video. I am so much, let's get working on this video because it is so much fun. It's so simple. It only takes minutes to do it. Only a few ingredients and I'm gonna share with you the ingredients in the jar and then I'm gonna share with you what you add to the jar when you open it up. So it's so simple. Let's get started and let me read to you what we're putting in the jar. Each jar gets one and a half cups of macaroni noodles. Of course, it's dry. And then we're just gonna add about three to four tablespoons of cheese, commercial dried cheese. So this is natural cheese powder. That's it. Now, they recommend that you put the cheese powder in a plastic baggie. I don't have little plastic baggies, so I'm using these envelopes. But you can use whatever you want. So in each envelope, I'm going to be put about three to four tablespoons of the cheese powder. This is going to get put in the jar, and then you put the macaronis in it. So basically what we're doing is we are copycatting what we find if we buy Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Helper always has the cheese in a little package. We'll go ahead and put the cheese in these little packs. Now, you can get smaller packages on Amazon. I got these, these are for my seeds, but this works perfect for this. All right, I'll see you in just a little bit. I'm an Amazon associate. Most of the products that you see me make on videos that I have to buy online are from Amazon. But you could get this kind of cheese, dried cheese powder, probably just about anywhere. I do share the links under my videos on everything that I use for people like me who don't do a lot of shopping in physical stores, but do a lot of online shopping. This is gonna be the most time consuming part of it. So I am going to do this all off camera. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the envelope and we're going to put it in our jar like this. So it's gonna look just like that. I'm gonna do that to all 12 of these jars and then I'll get back to you on step number two. Now you don't have to use mason jars. You could just use bags if you want, but I like mason jars because it will last longer in them. One thing that I really wanna point out is make sure when you wash your mason jars that you have them totally dry. There can't be any moisture in these jars or things will spoil and mold. We have all of our jars here. Now I bet a lot of you are saying, well, how can this save me money? It would not save you money if you had to buy the jars. Now I have these jars, some of them are 35 years old, but you can use any jar. You don't have to use a mason jar. That's why I emphasize it's so important that if you get glass jars at the grocery store to save everyone. Every glass jar you save that because you can use it. With the mixes and using these packets, you know, it won't save you money, but I'm gonna reuse these packets over and over again. When I'm finished using one, I'm just going to save it and then put the cheese in and reuse it. So, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and a half of our macaroni noodles and we're gonna put that in each jar. Macaroni noodles, you can get fairly reasonable. I get mine for about 50 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cup in each one and then I'll go back and put a half a cup in them. Now we're done with that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of powdered onion and parsley. It does not call for that, but I'm adding that to add a little more flavor. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon to each one. Now you do not need to add this. It doesn't call for it, 
but you can add your own spices. I just think it's going to make it so much tastier. Now you're going to make this just like you would hamburger helper. You will see upcoming videos of me making this. They're the same with my other mixes. You've seen in previous videos me doing whole videos on actually making what was in the jar then. So we're going to go a little bit with parsley. I think that would add a little bit of color. All right, now we're done. All we have to do is tap them a little bit and put our lids on. Hamburger helper does not look neat and it is amazing because you don't have the preservatives. Just like that we're finished and we have 12 of the hamburger helpers. This is 12 meals. You're going to make it just like you would hamburger helper. To one of these you add two cups of water and one cup of milk and four tablespoons of butter and then of course you add a pound of ground beef or as much ground beef as you like. So on my labels I have the directions on how to use this. So right written on my label I have the two cups of water with one cup of milk and four tablespoons of butter. One of these plus a little bit of ground beef or turkey or even just plain is going to make you a meal. It's as simple as that. Once you have a fully stocked kitchen, a lot of these projects that you do will not cost you much money. If you don't have canning jars and you don't have things like that, it would cost you money. But like I said, you can always use store-bought jars for gifts and for things like this. I, I, people make fun of me all the time and they say, oh, Tessie and her jars, but the importance of glass jars is just tremendous, especially in this day and age when you're not seeing a lot of glass anymore. If you get anything at the grocery store that's made with glass, save it. You could use it and it can save you a lot of money on a lot of projects. So I'm going ahead and I'm just going to put all these labels on. See how pretty that is? I'm all about convenience food, especially when we're getting towards the spring. I am really all about that because I am so busy outside that I want to make a really quick meal. One of these is perfect for a smaller family or just if it's by yourself. You could make this and this would make you a couple meals. And you're saving yourself the trip of the grocery store. Now I got that cheese back in December because as you know, I buy myself a couple things like that for in the pantry. That cheese, I didn't even use, I didn't even use a fourth of it. That cheese is going to last me at least a year to two years. So it really does save you money. What I'm going to do is when one of these are empty, I'm going to keep the label and just save it for making this again, because I have a feeling I'm going to be making this over and over and over again. This is going to be another one of my favorites. There's so many videos on Make a Mix. I'm actually going to have a playlist and I will share that playlist at the end of this video. And there is a cheesy hamburger helper sitting on the shelf for a quick meal. I know how much you are both appreciated and loved. Thank you so much, Laura. And let's see what she gave me. She wrapped it in a beautiful Christmas wrap. She wrapped it in beautiful birthday wrapping paper. I can tell you one thing, it smelled amazing in the mailbox, in the box. So I know it's something that is, smells amazing. Pantry Folk regular mouth canning lids. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I do really could use them. And it's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. This is something that I can always use and I always need. I never saw it in such beautiful bag. Pantry Folk. Never heard of this brand before. Absolutely amazing. I'm always interested in new canning jar lids and stuff. Look at this, the wooden lids for on canning jars. Oh, Laura, thank you so much. 
as you know I love the things of old-fashioned wood and I love these kind of things and it's practical but it's fun as well thank you and this is what I was smelling oh it smells amazing so we have two beautiful bars of soap blackberry spiced pear I mean you wouldn't even have to use this it just smells so good it's making the house smell amazing and I don't know if she made these but I tell you one thing they're the best smelling soaps I ever smelled that's for sure very very rosemary and lavender absolutely gorgeous I would love to know where she got them or if she made them because I've never smelled anything that smelled so good garden seeds even better yet look at this borage lemon mint and this is one of those harvesters where you can take the leaves all of, off your herbs oh my word I don't have I don't have this thank you so much as you can see this is really something I cannot wait to get started on so thank you so much for giving me some happiness today